Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of the Angular series and in this video we are going to look into how do we set up Angular on your machine, the VS Code editor on your machine, what is VS Code editor, plus we will see various different commands in this process of launching your first Angular application. Now if you are new to Angular then I will highly recommend to watch part 1 of the series where we have discussed on what is Angular, what are the advantages of using Angular and various different terminologies that we use in Angular. So let's jump in. Welcome back to Help Me Coder, the channel which talks about technology and helps the coder community out there. We are going to start our presentation by looking into an editor which we are going to use for our Angular application. Now there are a lot of different editors out there in market and my personal preference is to use Visual Studio Code. I will let you know what are my reasons of using Visual Code as an editor of a choice for those Angular application. Now there are many other editors as I said, you have Visual Studio ID, you have uh, Atom, you have Sublime Text, you have WebStorm, so there are a lot of different editors out there. So there are a couple of reasons for me choosing this system. One thing it can run on any platform, so you can run it on your Windows, you can run it on your Mac, you can run it on your Linux. So one is this, then, then the other is it's a very lightweight and a powerful ID. So that's second and then uh, it does provide you auto complete with IntelliSense and uh, it has syntax highlighting. Fourthly, uh, it comes with uh, inbuilt source control plus uh, it has Git support. So there are these are some of the reasons where I find it pretty useful to use uh, VS Code. Now let's go ahead and install VS Code. So I have provided with a link in the comment section below. So you can use that link to install VS Code. So once you click on this link, it will take you to the Visual Studio download VS Code download uh, page. We are based on your uh, OS. So if you are Windows, so my is a Windows base, so you can use it to, to install this. So let's click on the Windows. So this will download the VS Code editor for Windows. So so it, it says that do you want to VS Code editor 64 bit? Say let's start. And now it will start downloading the so it's a very lightweight. So you can see how fast it's able to install VS Code on my system. So I will say next, I accept, next, next, next. I think so. Fine. So let's say install. So the installer will complete now. So now let's launch the Visual Studio Code Editor. Let me show you how it looks. The VS Code Editor that I was talking about. So say it's git not found, so you can install and download the git here. This is the terminal windows PowerShell terminal window. So once we have installed the editor, which in our case is VS Code editor, we can start the process of setting up Angular. So in this process, the first part will be to set up or install Node.js. Now many times people have asked me a question like why we need to install Node.js for Angular. Now the reason is that once you install Node.js, it comes with a package manager called NPM, which helps facilitate download libraries and packages that are required for your Angular application to work. So basically with NPM or the Node Package Manager, you can download Angular CLI that will help you to install all the packages and libraries that are required for your app Angular application to run. So you can do this in isolation as well, but to get a better feel and development experience, it is always advisable to use Node.js to set up your Angular. Now to download that, you can click on the link. I have provided my link in the comment section below. So once you open this link, it will take you to the nodejs.org page where you can download the appropriate installer based on your OS and the how much bit the OS is. Now my one is a 64 bit uh, 
so let me install this one so i will click on this one and it will in take you to this setup page so where you can go to this wizard and then install this node.js so now the it says the node.js setup wizard has completed so after you have successfully installed node.js let's see the current version of node and npm that get installed on your system so we will be using our editor that we installed earlier which is the vs code editor to check the same so to do that let's go back to our desktop and open our visual studio code and let's go to the terminal and use the command npm hyphen v where v stands for version and check the current npm install so it is 5.6.0 and let's see for the node and v so it is 8.9.4 so this is how we check the current version of uh, node and npm installed on your machine now let's get back to our presentation so now once this is out of way so we have installed our node uh, or the npm let's go into the second step which is installing the angular cli now this brings us to the question what is angular cli we i spoke about angular cli just a second back that uh, once you um, have uh, npm installed you can download the angular cli and install the angular cli on your machine you can basically install angular uh, without the cli but then that will be a manual setup of all the angular components so there are a lot of different folder structure and components to uh, that make up an angular application so if you're gonna do these all these uh, things manually then it's not only a cumbersome process it's a time consuming process but it's more error prone as well so you may end up doing a lot of errors into your application secondly uh, there are a lot of different features like your components directives or services uh, which you will be using again and again your application so angular cli can help you serve these boilerplate codes which you can use in your application which in turn helps you give a consistency across your application Plus, uh, there is less chances of error and uh, you are using the best practices, best code practices across your uh, code. Plus, the whole team will be uh, using the same boilerplate code. So, it will have a consistency across your team on how you write the code. So, to install using npm this angular cli what we use a command is called npm install hyphen g at the rate angular slash cli uh, hyphen g over here stands for uh, installing at a global level so you have to install it once so it's at install at the global level and you don't have to install it again and again so so uh, how do we do that is let's go back into our code editor and let's run this command over there so i will open my code editor again so i will type over here npm install hyphen g at the rate angular cli so once you do that it will start the process so it, this will this will take some time so sit back and relax uh, it may take time based on your internet connection because it may download some lot of packages or uh, and the speed of your system so okay so uh, the angular cli has installed uh, successfully now over here you will see a couple of warnings which you can ignore them uh, to check now what is the current version of angular install on your system you can just check using ng hyphen v and once you do that you will see that this beautiful 
word written over here angular cli plus the current version what is the node version what is the os that uh, that is installed it's installed on so you will see everything over here so this shows us that the angular cli has been installed so once we've installed the angular cli uh, we can go ahead and create our first angular application or the angular project so to do that we have a command called ng new and the project name so uh, but make sure that you are on the exact folder level where you want to create your application so to do that let's go back to our vs code editor over here what you can do is uh, if i can uh, further zoom in so over here what you can write the command as uh, so right now i want to install it under c prompt so i have a c prompt or if you want to create it under another folder like uh, i want to create at another folder called angular so i will create a directory called angular so i will go inside that angular directory and i want to create the angular application over here so to do that um, so we can say ng new my first angular So once you do that, it will start to install all the dependencies and the libraries and it will create the folder structure and everything for your uh, first Angular project. So let's do that. So this may take time and uh, based on your uh, system speed and internet connection. So sit back and relax while this is getting done. okay great so it has installed or created our first angular application so uh, let's navigate back to the folder where uh, the project has been created so we can type in cd my if i type tab so okay so now i am inside the first project that i created so now let us see the folder structure and what are the different uh, files and components that have been created under this new project. Let's type in directory and it will show you all the different uh, files and the folders that have been created. We will look into these uh, things. What are these files and what are these folders into our part three of Angular series. Do subscribe our channel so that you can keep on getting update and hit the bell icon as well so that you keep on getting updates on this now uh, the next thing to show you over here is let's open this uh, structure into our editor itself to do that you can just type in code over here so once you do that okay so code dot i guess yeah this one opens the vs code editor over here so with the same structure that you saw earlier now if you see if i can go to the terminal window over here so this is a terminal window over here you can use ng serve command basically this command helps you to build the app that you have just that you just see over here and also it helps you to watch the source file so as in when you change the source file over here it will update the browser where your application is getting displayed uh, also if you want to open the browser window directly you can just specify the open command over here so once you do that it will start up your server watch the source file rebuild the app as in when your changes are being done everything getting done instantly let's see so when i run this command ng serve open it's right now running it so over here you can see it is listening on port 4200 so this is the website that is trying to run now this is the app now if i go back to my index.html the page that you are seeing right now so let me completely write my name which is himant joshi my name uh, and then let's save this so i just say save 
So once you see save, see there is a lot of things happening behind the scene. It is uh, saving this thing plus it is reloading the browser if you see over here and it is refreshing the thing over here. So these all things are getting done instantly. So in our future video, we will look into what are these different things, how are they connected and uh, look into the various uh, component inside the SRC folder and uh, how do you create a component, how do you uh, connect these components. So we will look into all these things into our third video that uh, will contain all about the folder structure in Angular. I hope uh, this video would have helped you to learn how do you install uh, Angular on your system plus uh, would have helped you choosing the editor of your choice and how do you use editor the terminal window and what are the different commands uh, while you start your Angular journey. So in the next video the, which is part 3 I will be letting you know on uh, what are the different folder structure that you see, what are those different files and how are these things are getting connected, how it boots up your Angular. So do like and subscribe our channel Help Me Coder and uh, keep watching our videos. Thanks for watching and happy coding.